Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I'm going to share with you how to make water kefir. And if you're unfamiliar with what water kefir is, uh, it's a drink, it's a cultured drink that is rich in probiotics. Uh, you've probably seen dairy kefir, which is made from milk at health food stores. It usually comes in a bottle uh, you know, that you can hold in your hand about this big and it says kefir on it and usually it's flavored. Sometimes it's strawberry kefir, sometimes it's uh, vanilla. It really just depends. But you've probably seen dairy kefir at the health food store. Water kefir is a little bit different. Water kefir is, uh, it uses these grains right here, which they aren't actually grains. They're called uh, kefir grains. Uh, as you can see right there, water kefir grains. But they're actually just uh, basically bacteria and yeast. That's what they look like right there in the spoon. And what they do is they, all they do is feed on sugar. So uh, the back, this uh, kefir grain, kefir grains, all they do is feed on bacteria and sugar. And in doing so, they create probiotics. They create uh, good microbes that are good for your gut. Uh, obviously, you probably already know how the health benefits of uh, probiotics, how it's beneficial for the gut, beneficial for colon health, uh, beneficial for immunity. Uh, and it's beneficial for keeping your kind of bacteria balance in check. So uh, all that you need is really a few things to make water kefir. Uh, oh yeah, one more quick thing. What does what water kefir taste like? So dairy kefir uh, kind of has a little tangy taste. It tastes like milk. It is milk, but it's fermented, so it's got a kind of a tangy flavor. Water kefir, uh, the closest thing I could really compare it to is soda. I mean, it's literally... Uh, it's the closest thing to soda that, that you can really get uh, in, in the world of, of you know natural health and natural living. It, it's a fermented drink, so it's a fermented beverage, so it's got a little, a little kick to it, a little fizz, and when it ferments, uh, it's delicious. So I'm going to show you how to make plain water kefir uh, today and show you how to activate the kefir grains and get the, the culture going, get everything brewing. And then once you know how to do that, you can utilize uh, different kind of techniques to flavor the drinks differently. You can bottle it up uh, and you can, you know, make bigger batches and, you know, that will just take quantifying the math a bit. So it's pretty simple. All you're going to need uh, for this is a few simple things. So you're going to need, need a jar, like this jar right here. This is just a, a jar with an open top. The open top is important uh, up here because you're going to need access to uh, air for uh, oxidation and, and the bacteria and the, and the grains to uh, uh, oxidize and, and, and harvest the sugar and, and turn it into probiotics. So you need an open uh, top jar and then all you're going to do, the first step, the very first step, is putting three to four cups of water in that jar. So I've already done that just to save some time. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take one fourth cup of sugar and this is uh, raw turbinado non-GMO sugar and you're going to put that in there and as you can see it's it's all in there but it's all not really uh, you know mixed in so it's 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 not uh, it's not there's no consistency so all that you're going to do now is simply mix that up and the reason you're mixing up is so that the consistency is uh, is really uh, it's fine. So you want those grain or excuse me, you want those sugar crystals to break down so that the water, the sugar water is consistent and the, the flavor and all the fermenting and everything happens consistently as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna mix this up real quick. I'm, I'm using a bamboo straw. If you're wondering what this is, this is a bamboo straw. I'm pretty earthy if you haven't noticed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mix that up and. Make sure that all the crystals are breaking down. Okay, it looks like it is not quite there yet, so I'm going to go a little bit longer uh, because you can still see, you might be able to see right there in the middle is uh, you don't want chunks of, <laughs> there's a little avocado in the background over there. I'm going to eat that today. Uh, <laughs> Right here you can see that it is, there's still some sugar in the center. So it's going to take a minute, so just bear with me. Uh, like I said, the reason this is important is because you don't want chunks of sugar and then chunks of crystals and uh, the, you don't want anything disproportionate. It's all about proportionality. 
I believe that's a word. If not, then let's make it one. Uh, so that it, the bacteria and the yeast can feed on sugar evenly so that it creates a really smooth tasting beverage. And, and it's going to taste a lot better uh, if you're thorough and you're consistent and you, uh, you make it happen. So I'm just going to keep stirring here a bit. And they actually recommend in the instructions that I got that uh, you add a little bit of warm water and then uh, mix it in. It, you know, it really doesn't matter. This, you're, you're going to have to heat up the water and then add that and then add the cooler water and then mix it all. Uh, I just figured add all the water and mix it all in and, and get the consistency thorough. So it's almost done. I can see only a few more sugar crystals and this water is turning into a just a sugar water, a pure sugar water, a light brown sugar water. And for those of you that are wondering, uh, I should probably answer the question, uh, does water kefir have sugar in it? Yes and no. It does have sugar in it because I just added sugar as you can see, but what you need to understand is that the kefir grains are comprised of a symbiotic bacteria and yeast, and they feed on the sugar. So as it's fermenting, it's actually eating the sugar and it's converting the sugar into good bacteria, it's converting into probiotics. So you really don't have to worry about the sugar intake. If you're fermenting long enough, uh, like I'll share with you in a minute here, you are going to get probiotics and these sh all this sugar is just converting into good gut flora bacteria. So it looks like I have some even consistency. There's just a little bit of sugar left. Uh, so basically, so that's the first step, three to four cups of water and then adding that into the jar. Uh, you're gonna need the jar, you're gonna need some raw organic non-GMO sugar. And after that, what you're gonna need is just a few simple things. The kefir grains, which I got these on Amazon. I think this was like 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon. This little pack, it just came with this little pack. I mean, it's really small. I actually thought it would be, this is literally the whole pack right here. Uh, it seems really expensive, but once you get them fermenting and things, uh, you know, in the, in the jar, you can use this forever. The, the grains just grow and you can, you can keep them going. I used to have uh, grains that I got for free from a friend, uh, actually from my mom's friend. This was years ago, uh, but I haven't used those in forever and they're long gone. So uh, I had to buy some more. So, so once you add three to four cups of water, sugar in a jar, all that you're going to do next, this, the second step, or the, I guess this would be the third step, is to add the kefir grains into the sugar water. So all I'm going to do is pour them in, and I'm going to show you what these look like in the raw before I put them in. Do you see that? How it's sort of a brownish, uh, it's really just a brown, it looks like little brown, um, I don't know, it looks like frankincense actually, oddly enough. But all you're going to do is just add this entire pack to the water. And once I'm done doing that, bear with me, the feasting, feeding, converting those grains into what they need to be will begin. So that's empty. And it's as simple as that, folks. It's really not that hard. It's not rocket science. So, uh, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is take a picture of the instructions here. Uh, I have this whole sheet of instructions. I'm going to put that on healthywildandfree.com. So whether you're watching this video on YouTube or Facebook, check out the link right below uh, for step-by-step -step instructions. So that's the third step. So water, three, four cups of water, fourth cup of sugar, stir it up, add the kefir grains. The kefir grains are going to be brown like that because they aren't yet activated. So they haven't yet fed on sugar. So they're, they're technically sort of stagnant or not alive grains that haven't began the feeding process yet. So now that that's in place, you can actually kind of see the water's brown and everything. But if we look a little bit closer, let's see how close I can get here. Um, you can kind of see they're just hanging out in there and they're really not doing anything. So what we're going to do now, all you need is a rubber band and a cheesecloth. And all that that's going to do is protect the top. So I have a cheesecloth right here. It's just a cloth that, that's breathable, uh, you know, through the middle. All that I'm going to do now is take that, throw it over the top like so, take my rubber band, and that just broke. So <laughs> Let's see if I can find another one. I think I have a rubber band here. Yep, look at, lucky me. So now I'm going to take another rubber band that is not as old and throw that around there and 
go like that. And then all you're going to do is actually, that's, that's it. That's the process right there. And it's, it's not a large amount. It's only three to four cups of, of, um, of you know, kefir that's going to end up here. But as you can see in here, this little amount is going to take time. And what's going to happen is for the first four days, uh, you're going to activate the kefir grains. So today is, what is today? Today's Monday. So Thursday, these kefir grains are going to be activated. What I'm going to do then is dump out the, I'm going to, the, the kefir grains are actually going to go from that brown. They're going to plump up and look a little bit bigger and whiter like that. I'm going to strain out the grains. I'm going to pour out the sugar water. And then I'm going to do the exact same process with water, sugar, add the grains again once they're activated after the four days. And then I can repeat the process and I have uh, basically uh, one, one to three days or so, two, two to four days uh, sort of to ferment from here on out. So uh, this process is what you do, but the first time around all you're doing is activating the grains so that they are eating the sugar and they, they come to life. And then once you pour that water out after four days, you do the exact same thing, add the same three, four cups of water, one fourth cup sugar, and let it sit, you know, cheesecloth on top, etc. And just let it sit in about a 70 degree environment, anywhere between uh, 68 and 85 degrees will work. So if, if you're in a 70 degree environment, that's perfect. And you can just do this over and over and over again. And the kefir grains will actually grow and become bigger and feed off more and more sugar the more batches you do. So you can just continue to make um, bigger batches if you want to, or you know, really the same batches and just save the grains. And if you do have kefir grains, once they are white like this, you'll want to store them in a glass jar in your fridge. So just a small glass jar on your fridge. You want to keep them in a cool environment to stay alive. So um, it's as simple as this. I'm just going to leave this on my counter for four days and I will uh, check back and uh, do the exact same thing. And then two days after that, so uh, this weekend basically, I'll be drinking my water kefir that I made today because I'll have to do one more batch and then the grains will be activated and then I'll be good to go. So I hope that makes sense. If not, please ask your questions below, we'll post your questions. Uh, I love water kefir personally. Uh, and beyond that, one note beyond that, so once you're done making the kefir water, uh, what you can do is just simply add sugar, or excuse me, add sugar, add fruit. So uh, what you can do is you can actually add fruit um, during the process uh, and allow that to ferment with it and the grains will actually eat the fruits from the sugar and create uh, what I would call, I guess, a custom probiotic from that fruit. So say it's a cherry. So if you want a cherry probiotic or a or cherry uh, nutrients in a probiotic form, you would add cherries and let it ferment over, you know, two, three days. And then it would, you know, eat that sugar, feast on the, on the sugar from the cherries. The grains would feast on those, uh, the sugar from the cherries, and then ferment that, creating a, a probiotic cherry flavored drink, which would be like a cherry soda, but it's, there's no sugar, it's just probiotics at that point. So it's absolutely awesome. I used um, uh, ionized purified, you know, water, and um, raw sugar, non-GMO sugar, organic sugar, um, if you can, if you have organic non-GMO sugar. And uh, yeah, I'll link to these grains on Amazon. It's really all you need is the grains, and you probably already have a jar possibly, and sugar and water, and you know maybe the cheesecloth. So I'll link this stuff all below. And this page with the step-by-step -step instructions, I'm going to take a picture of this and publish on healthywildandfree.com as well. So make sure to check out the link right below this video for step-by-step -step instructions, each of the individual components, and everything you need to make water kefir work in your life. So, uh, and you can use any fruit, uh, cherries, raspberries, um, you know, any type of berries, blueberries. Berries really work best because uh, they sit and they soak really well and sometimes they flow and it, it's, I just love berries uh, and, and making uh, sort of a berry water kefir. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and are inspired to make water kefir. Uh, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWellandFree.com. Get your probiotics in your diet and your gut. Please like, favorite, comment, share this video, and subscribe for future videos, articles, and, and things of that nature. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.